we have a lot more people up here. A lot, a lot of folks are cooped up. They've been cooped up. I was cooped up at home and they want out. El Dorado National Forest has been a longtime favorite for locals and tourists. Well, we come here every year. That's our spot right there. But the U.S. Forest Service says thanks to COVID, a lot of first-time campers and hikers are also coming out, bringing an estimated three times more traffic than years past. It took us like an hour, like two weeks ago, to get one truck out with a boat. With the influx of visitors, fire prevention is especially top of mind for the U.S. Forest Service. They say it needs to be the same for visitors. I mean, we don't want you to come up here and have something bad happen to you here, but it's good for your own sake of mind to know what to do. Some of those things to do according to the U.S. Forest Service include visitors keeping campfires and stove fires only in developed sites, along with knowing the lay of the land and having an evacuation plan if a wildfire does start. Most developed campgrounds are now typically full at El Dorado National Forest, so people have turned to dispersed camping or choosing their own campsite. With dispersed camping, you're not going to find trash service and you're not going to find um, built restrooms. So that means plan ahead before you get there and when you leave. Leave your campsite cleaner than you found it. With all of the rules and precautions the U.S. Forest Service is asking visitors to follow and take, they say it's still the public's right to enjoy our local national forests. It's out here for the public. This is the public's land.